guys, what's up? It's Mac and Jack. Welcome back to our channel. I know it's weird that I'm wearing a face mask, um, but I did have some work done and I'm not comfortable showing my face yet. So when I'm ready, I will take my mask off and hopefully it'll only be a few weeks, maybe less than that. So just bear with me, you guys. And when I'm ready, I will, I will get there. <laughs> I hope you guys can still understand what I'm saying. I know how that is sometimes with these face masks. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Today's video is going to be my jacket and coat collection. And I'm so excited to show you guys all this because I'm still doing the series on my channel, A Closer Look Into My Closet. And that is just a series where I show you guys all my different collections. I think the last one I did was my holiday collection. Um, I might do like a shoe collection one next or uh, summer outfits, winter outfits, that sort of thing. If you guys have any requests, let me know and I can do a collection video on it. So everything is behind me. I have a lot of coats. I have a problem with buying coats. I really have to stop myself and ask myself if I'm actually going to wear it. Um, I love jackets. I wear jackets with a lot. So let's just go ahead and start and I'll just try on the jackets and coats for you guys too so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so the first one is this windbreaker and it looks so retro. I actually got it from Forever 21, I think a year ago. And I don't wear it a lot. It's kind of hard to, um, wear a windbreaker because the weather's either too hot or too cold at least where i am uh, but i really do like this one it's so cool and it has this little detailing right here and um, it has a really good zipper on it too it's just a little crop windbreaker takes me back to my childhood back in the 90s for sure the second jacket is this crazy unicorn one that i made last year <laughs> It's actually a children's costume and I just cut it in the middle. So you can see where I hemmed it. And then I just added the sleeves and made the armholes larger. So let me try this one on for you guys. This is one of my favorite jackets and I had one in high school that I made and it was a white unicorn and I wish I hadn't gotten rid of it. But I have this beautiful yellow one now. And it doesn't zip up or anything. I didn't add a zipper. So it just sits like this and it's perfect. It fits so good. It has this crazy hood and these unicorn wings on the back. I don't know if you guys can see, but they don't really, they're really big, but, um, they kind of just droop in the back, which is fine. I don't mind, as long as it has these crazy wings. It's really warm too, because the sleeves are flannel. So I wear this a lot in the winter time. And it goes with a lot of my outfits, you know, because I like rainbow things. Third one is my Juicy Couture jacket. I got this from Marshalls a couple years ago, and it says Juicy on this sleeve. And I really like this one because it has these giant bat sleeves and it's a velvet material, I think. It's like a velvety kind of material. It's actually really warm and it's a crop jacket. It fits really good. Really like this one a lot. Just love the detailing that Juicy Couture adds to their clothing. It just always looks so unique to me. I like the red, of course. Red is one of my favorite colors. Then I have this black suede jacket that I got from Forever 21 a couple years ago. And this is just sort of a go-to jacket. It's a moto jacket and it just goes with everything. I mean, if I can't find a jacket, I'm just going to put this on. Like this is just one of those jackets and it's pretty warm. And it looks very stylish and I never zip it up. I don't zip a lot of my jackets up. Oh wait, this doesn't snap. Oh my goodness. I thought this snapped in the front, but I guess it doesn't. That's weird. That is so weird. Oh well, whatever. It still looks really stylish. 
it's got a lot of zippers on it. There's one on the sleeve here. So it just goes with a lot of things in my closet. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is such a fun one. It's actually a raincoat. It's a Simpsons raincoat that I got from Forever 21. I love wearing this one. I'm not sure what happened to it, um, but I got some markings on it. Sometimes that happens when my clothes, like they'll get too close and it'll transfer onto the other clothing item. I don't know if you guys have that issue too. It really sucks. I love the yellow. It has the Simpsons right here. I don't know if it was worth what I paid, honestly. I think it was like $40 for this raincoat. It's a little much in my opinion, um, but it is a really good one and I like that it's cropped too. I'm gonna move this further out. I feel like it's kind of hard to see. There we go, that's better. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> that's a little bit better. Now you can actually see where it ends. This next one is my Suicide Silence jacket that I got years ago. And this one, you know, it's so hardcore. <laughs> I got this back in my goth emo days, I guess, which I still have those days for sure. I still like that style and I really like this jacket. It's very warm. I don't wear it a lot, but I just refuse to part with it because I like the punk look to it and it's just a good jacket to throw on. All right, the next one is this cute Minnie Mouse pajama jacket. And I have a ton of pajama jackets. I won't try all of them on because they all pretty much look the same. But this one's really cute. It's got polka dots on it and Minnie all over it. I get a bunch of these from Goodwill uh, because I like to wear them to work with my scrubs when it's really cold. Also like to pair it with my outfits, as you guys know, if you watch my outfit of the days. So I have this Betty Boop one, one of my absolute favorites. And then I have this Mickey Mouse one that's red. These all came from Goodwill and I've got more. I know you guys have seen this one. It has the dogs all over it. If you watch my outfit of the day. And then I have a Betty Boop Coca-Cola one. Absolutely love this one. I think it's a Christmas one, but I don't care. I just wear it when it's cold out. <laughs> I mean, it's snowflakes, so. And then I have this one with cupcakes on it. I think these are the last three I have. <laughs> this one has penguins and snowflakes on it. And then this one has polar bears and snowflakes. And then this last one has polar bears and trees and snowflakes. This one is one of my favorites because it's so warm. Next is this really fun Paris robe and it's so bright. I love it. It was a little girl's robe and I just altered it a bit to make it fit. These sleeves are very short on it, uh, but I hemmed the bottom to make it a little bit shorter. And I think it turned out really cute. It doesn't look like a bathrobe as much to me. So I do that with bathrobes. I will like cut and hem it at the bottom sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I like them long. It just depends how it looks on me. This one needed to be him. So next one is this jacket from Sugar Thrills and I think it is a pajama jacket as well. It's a silky pink jacket with fur at the sleeves. Love, love this jacket. Very pretty. I do wear this one out too because it looks cute as a jacket. I mean, I think it's very stylish. So, and they have pants that come with this too. I don't know if the jacket's still available uh, because it keeps selling out. So I guess a lot of people like it. It's not really warm, so it's good to wear like in the springtime or the fall. Next one is this. <laughs> I got this from Poshmark and I think, uh, yeah, it was a onesie and I made it into a jacket. <laughs> and it has, this rainbow poop emoji as the hood with this little crown. Isn't it hilarious, you guys? I love it so much. It's really soft and warm and the sleeves are a little short once again, because I think it's a size 10, 12 and little girls. And it doesn't quite fit all the way because I had to take the zipper out and I haven't decided what I'm doing, but I think I might add some elastic right here so it I can just slip it over my head. I don't really want to put a zipper in because, well, first of all, it's not going to fit all the way around because I've cut so much material off and hemmed it. 
that it will not go around. Plus, I'm not a size 10, 12 in little girls. All I did was hem the bottom, hem the sides, but look at this hood, y'all. I'm gonna put it on for y'all. Look, ah! it's so cute. It has it all over the jacket. It's got little poop emojis and then the heart eye emoji, which I use a lot. <laughs> Next one is this really cool shirt. I think it's supposed to be a shirt, but I wear it as a jacket. I do that a lot. I got this from Goodwill and I wear it a lot. I think it's like a leopard print. It's very pretty and it can button if I want it to, but I just usually wear my jackets like this because I don't want to cover up my whole outfit. Um, but I love the detailing, all the buttons on it. Very pretty and it has a collar on it too. It makes me feel like I want to go to a party or something. <laughs> Next is this raincoat that I have. I think I just have two raincoats. They're both very thin, so you can't really wear them in the winter time, I guess. Uh, this one I got from Forever 21. It's very like astronaut space looking, but it's got this holographic material and it buttons at the sleeves, which I wasn't super happy because this one broke. It just randomly came off and I'm really not that hard on my clothing. Um, so it kind of surprised me when it just fell off and it was the first time I had worn it. So um, I still do really like it. It has a zipper on it too, and it also buttons. Um, I don't think this raincoat is available anymore, but I'm sure Forever 21 has very similar stuff on their website. Next is this <laughs> leopard robe. Oh my gosh, it is so warm. I got this from Goodwill, and I'm thinking about listing it in my Poshmark. Oh, but when I put it on, I don't want to. It feels so good. It's so soft, and it's very long but it, oh my gosh, y'all, it's so unique. Like it's one of a kind and I just don't think I want to part with it. So it's pink and green. Yeah, super fun. And this next one, I know you guys have seen a lot, so I won't even try it on. It's this Jojo robe. It's got her face and her dog's face all over it. And I love it. It's hilarious. I got it from Target this year, actually last year, technically a few months ago. It's really warm. Then I have this little jacket I got years ago from Forever 21. And I'm not, like I don't wear this jacket a lot, but I want to keep it because it is very flattering on my body shape. And it looks really nice. It's good to wear like formal events, maybe not a funeral, I don't know. It's a little, it might be a little risque, but it is very pretty and I, I do, like wearing it a lot it doesn't zip or anything it's just just like that this next one is so much fun you guys this was a robe once again that i made into a jacket and i put this little clasp on the front and it has an alien that i put on the back it's so warm and it is a crop jacket that i made so this is what it looks like on. Love this one. The hood does uh, cover the alien, which, you know, is kind of upsetting, but if I wear the hood, then I don't have to worry about it. It is very cute with the hood on. This next one is probably one of my favorites. It's a tie-dye jacket that I made a few years ago, and I do have a video that I did post of me making this, um, but this one, it zips up and it has really large bell sleeves on it, which are probably my favorite if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> I like bell sleeves a lot. And it's kind of a crop jacket, maybe not really, but um, I did not put a hood on it. I love how big and comfy it is. I wear a lot of oversized clothing because that's what I feel comfortable wearing. Um, I hate being uncomfortable. So when I make something, it's probably gonna be oversized. It's very hippie looking. This next one, I just picked this up at Goodwill. Look, you guys, it's so pretty. It is a blue velvet jacket. 
It even matches this outfit really well. I think it's supposed to be a shirt, but I wear it as a jacket. I, I'm pretty sure it smells like mothballs though. I can't even smell it through this mask. I don't know y'all. I gotta try to get this smell out. Do you guys have any tips how to get mothball smell out of clothing? Help me. Okay, this next one is my red fur bomber jacket. And it says taken on the back. I got this a few years ago from Forever 21. And it is so warm and soft and big. I love it. This next one I have listed in my Poshmark. So if you guys want to get it, I'll link my Poshmark below. Um, it's up for grabs. And it's a rainbow sweater and it says boring. It's um, also got a little heart. Um, this one I'm listing for $35, which I don't think is bad because I did pay more for it than that. It's not actually from Dolls Kill, but I have it listed under there because they have similar stuff online. So I'll try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like <laughs> if you decide you wanna buy it. It is really warm. And I think it's like a one size kind of deal. I don't think it's like, you know, any particular size, but it is, you know, really nice and I like it. It's just, I never wear it anymore. Next jacket is my Elmo coat. <laughs> um, this one is kind of weird. I don't, I'm not sure I even want to keep it. It was a little Elmo costume that I turned into a jacket and I accidentally did the sleeves wrong. So I did them inside out. Like, how does someone do that after they've been sewing for 10 years, 10 plus years, whatever. I put Velcro in it too, and it goes like this. And guess what? I look like a freaking ninja. I wish I would have just used red fabric, but I was in such a hurry to get it done. I just used what I had. I didn't go to the fabric store and I should have done it. This whole project would have turned out way better, I think. But it's got Elmo in the back here. I mean, it's it's cute. It's just, it's very uh, weird. Because I look like a ninja with Elmo on my back. I don't know, y'all. And this next piece is just a denim crop jacket that I got from Forever 21. I have tried so hard not to decorate this, you guys, or put pins in it. But it is so hard because... It's a blank canvas, but I really just needed a basic denim jacket. I love how cropped it is and it's frayed at the bottom. This next one is my blue satin bomber that came from Forever 21. I get a lot of my jackets there. Um, they usually have really good sales and I will get it when it's on sale. I haven't bought any in a while because I'm trying not to, <laughs> but this, this is such a great jacket. It goes with a lot of things in my closet really like it all the zipper details are you guys still awake <laughs> i have a few more this one is from italy when i went to visit italy i bought this jacket and it's not real leather and it has all these zipper detailings on it and it's a moto style jacket really like this one it actually goes with this outfit i meant to actually pair this with it but it's fine <laughs> Next piece I might list in my Poshmark. Um, it is a Black Widow jacket. I wore it one time for a photo shoot. And for some reason, I just think I'll need it again. But chances are, I'm not going to. And I paid pretty good money for it. So I'm a little bit, you know, mad at myself for buying it and then just wearing it for a photo shoot. It's not very good um i added this little patch from the avengers on it i don't even like these movies really like the i don't know the comic book series movies and stuff they just get kind of old to me but i want to do this photo shoot because i i do like her yeah it's really cute and it's got the belt buckle on it too i'm not gonna zip it all the way up uh because i can't next piece is this leather jacket that my husband bought for me and this is real leather still smells good um this one i think just came from wilson's leather 
so I've had this a long time. I don't think it zips up anymore, y'all. Um, I still wear it though, and I'll buckle it at the top, but no, it does not fit. I think he got it for me when we were dating, so I'll just button it up here usually, and I can't because of my choker. Um, but it's so nice, you know, I really like this jacket a lot, and it was a very nice gift from my husband. Then I have this giant fleece cape with fur on it. And I hate to say this, but I only wear this usually if when I'm going to a funeral. Um, it always looks really nice over a black dress, and usually um, I'm able to wear it because it's cold out. I'm not going to try this one on. I mean, it's just a cape. And then this is my red puffer jacket that's from Forever 21. I actually have a lot of puffer jackets, and I don't have them in my closet right now because they're dirty. Um, so I do have more coats actually, but I just, I've been wearing them a lot since it's been snowing and been cold here. I really like this one though. I like the black on the end here. It does not have a hood though. It's the only thing I don't like, but other than that, it's very warm. And I have a red one like this too. Um, it's a different brand, but it has real down feathers in it. And it looks like a sleeping bag. Uh, right now it's dirty, so I can't show you guys that one. Um, but it's very warm. It's the warmest coat I've probably ever worn. And last but not least, look you guys. This is so cute! It has pebbles on it! So cute. And then, what is this? What is this guy's name? I can't remember. Is it Dino? <laughs> I can't remember, y'all. It's the Flintstones. And I got this from Goodwill years ago. And I just can't part with it. I don't wear it a lot. It's hard to find, um, I don't know, like the right weather to wear this kind of jacket because it is warm, but it's not super warm like my puffer coats. And my puffer coats won't fit over this because it's so bulky. So I have to wear it in the spring or fall but it is so cute with pebbles on it. Oh, I love it. It was a steal. I only paid a few dollars for it. Totally worth it. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my coat and jacket collection. Like I said, I've got more coats and jackets somewhere in my house because they're all dirty at the moment because it is cold out. <laughs> um, I know this was a longer video and if you watched all of it I appreciate it so much thank you guys like your support means everything uh, I don't have a lot of people watching but the ones that do I want you guys to know that I appreciate y'all so much and it really does motivate me to keep making videos Jack enjoys filming too so you know you gotta do what makes him happy right <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and Jack and I will see you guys in our next video.